Hi, in this video we'll make cherry with water drops. Open sphere and subdivide. Open stroke menu with crease tool. Choose this fall off and select dynamic intensity and make a hole by dragging your finger. Use inflate tool with sub and make a little deep hole. Let's make the hole we created a little oval. Select Drag Tool with Increasing Radius and Intensity. Since the cherry is not completely round, shape the top of the object by making it oval and slightly concave. While doing this shaping, let's check that we are shaping it properly by using Reset View and Snap View. Our cherry is starting to form, and let's finish our shape by dragging a few back and forth. Now let's start creating the stock of the cherry. Select Tube Tool and Curve. Create your stock by dragging your finger. Press the radius 2 to 3 times to form the radius of each point. Since the top and bottom of the cherry stock is a bit thick, let's expand it by dragging the amber points. When you press anywhere on the Tube Tool, a new point and radius are formed there. Do not validate before completing these movements. Validate and smooth everywhere with Smooth Tool. It can be very thin since we don't do subdivide. Just go over it. Before we make the final touches, let's separate stock from cherry with gizmo. And subdivide stock to make a pure object. Select Cell Mask Tool, and let's thicken both ends of the stock with one of the shapes here. Choose Ellipse. Let's mask the bottom with the ellipse. Open Cell Mask Settings and push Invert. So we inverse the masked part. Now enlarge that section out with the gizmo. Clear Mask. Now let's do the same mask to the other end. Smooth the masked parts with Smooth Tool. Now let's shape the stock with Crease Tool and Alpha. Select Crease Tool and Stroke Menu. Use this Alpha and Fall Off. Make Scaling X2. And shape it by Deformation. Now smooth with Smooth Tool. Decrease Radius and Intensity, and drag some parts with Drag Tool. Now let's shape and soften a little more with the Crease Tool. Let's add natural lines with Scratch Alpha in Stroke Menu. Set the Scaling X and Y and draw on both sides of the stock. Merge two separate shapes together with the Drag Tool and the Smooth Tool. Let's draw a few scratches at the bottom to make it look natural. Select Stroke Type Dot. Make Scaling 2 and use Scratch Alpha. Now let's draw some natural lines on our stock. Now let's do the same to the top as we did to the base of the stock. I'm speeding it up because it's been done before. Now let's change our matte cap and start painting. You can see the color better in this matte cap. Select Paint Tool and choose the basement color of stock and paint. Open Painting Menu and increase the paint intensity. Decrease the radius and paint. You can paint more sensitively by decreasing radius. Choose green color for stock's body and paint. If you paint incorrectly, you can delete it with the erase tool or undo your action with two finger push. Now, let's merge the colors with the smudge tool. Add some dark green to the body and use Smudge Tool to merge. 
by adding more colors, we can make our work more natural. Now time to paint the cherry. Select cherry, choose red color and push paint all. Let's color the whole of the cherry. The cavity in the middle of the cherry becomes a little dark and the surrounding area is whitish. The more details you want to make, the more natural it looks. Move the stock to its place with gizmo. Some parts of the cherry are black and there are spots on it. Now let's darken some parts and put little dots on it. Open Shading menu and select PBR mode and look at its lighting using different environments and settings. You can watch the sixth tutorial for more detailed information about the PBR mode. Let's add a few drops of water to our cherry so that we can learn how to turn the object into glass. Change shading. Let's add a few small spheres with the insert tool. Select sphere and by dragging your finger, add small spheres. When using the insert tool, you can direct the object to be inserted with your second finger. Use the gizmo to get the drops a little bit into the cherry because sphere is added close to the surface and does not go into it. Open Scene menu, select all drops and join them. Now, add big drop and shape with drag tool. Validate and subdivide. Let's give the sphere we added a drop shape with the drag tool. In this way, let's add a few spheres and decorate our cherry with water drops. Now let's select the drops we created and make a simple merge with join. Name them all to know which one belongs to which object. We can also create drops with the tube tool that we created the stock before. Let's play with radiuses and make a drop this way. When you finish shaping, validate and subdivide the drop. Join tube and the other drops. Now let's change the matte cap and turn our drops into glass. Open white matte cap and select show painting. Select drops in scene menu. Open material menu and select refraction for drops. Now open shading and choose PBR mode. Have you seen our water drops? Now let's add a plane to create a shadow at the base of the cherry and expand the plane. Validate and subdivide the plane. With clone option, you can double the cherry. If you want, you can copy the color of the background and make the color of the plane same as the background. In this way, you can create different positions. Add light in shading menu and find the appropriate environment for your object. Experiment with the environment settings until you get the lighting you want. In addition to these, you can add more lights wherever you want. You can try to find out whether your light should be a spot or a point, right or left. Select plain and enlarge to fill the screen, so you can see the shading of your object better. There are images in different colors among the environments. If you want, you can import an image from your device too. From these three dots, you can adjust the settings of your light. Softness, lights angle, intensity all settings will change the state of your light. Even change the color of the light, yellowish or red light. You can make much more beautiful works with your imagination. We have come to the end of our video. If you want to learn more about this content, check out my other videos.